What is up, YouTube? This is Red Leprechaun Gaming, and welcome back to System Universe, Book 2, Torrent by Sunrise CB. Chapter 42, Oathbreaker. A couple of hours later, the group was back in the village. Brandy had fallen asleep leaning on Derek, a girl who had been through a lot recently, and she was beyond tired. Derek patted her head, gently waking her. We're back, he said. Mallory directed the equivis towards a makeshift stable that had been created outside of the village due to the sudden influx of adventurers recently. Everyone hopped off the carriage, and she tied the beasts to a post before gathering with the others. What are we going to do with the carriage, she asked Derek. Derek chuckled. Well, now that we have it, it makes it easier to travel. I say we keep it. They chatted as they walked through the gate and headed to Raina's new old residence. Before long, they were all gathered in the meeting room. Did you have any trouble while I was gone? Derek asked. Raina, talking about the three unconscious guards who were now laying in the corner of the room. The pretty boy woke up once, but that was it. Didn't take much to knock him back out, she answered. Derek nodded and walked over to the guard. Let's get this over with. He bent down and lightly tapped on the guard's face, noticing that it wasn't enough to wake him. Derek sighed and pulled out a cup of water from his storage bracelet. He poured the water onto the man's face. Slowly, the man's eyes opened. He looked around in confusion before realization struck him. Y you He looked up at Derek. Where's the young lady? He half yelled. Dead, Derek answered blandly. No! He jumped to his feet and rushed at Derek. You bastard! He yelled as he cocked his arm back to punch him. Derek sighed and wrapped the pretty guard up before he could do anything. Standing be behind the man, holding him off the ground in a bear hug, Derek spoke to the room. I think he's a lost cause. The man was clearly in love or lust with Catricia. As she was dead, there was no reason to leave somebody like this alive. Brandy, go to the other room, he said to the girl. She had seen death before, but it all came at the hands of beasts and monsters. She hadn't been in the village center when Derek took out Wallace and his adventuring team. He thought it better for her not to see him kill these people. She shook her head. No, don't worry about me, she replied mechanically. Derek, still holding the struggling guard, looked over at Mallory. The woman sighed and nodded. Even if she's so adamant to watch, I can at least try and make it as least gruesome as possible, he thought. Derek transferred the struggling man to his left arm, holding the man tightly against his chest. With this move, the man's right hand was free, but it didn't matter. Derek's right hand was also free, and it was channeling the void. Derek had grown to rely on this technique ever since he used it on the Void Beast. With a quick strike to the side of the head, the man went limp, then disappeared into his storage ring. After taking care of the young guard that was found in bed with Katricia, Derek moved to the next one. This guard woke up easily. It was odd, though. Once the guard stood, he just stared vacantly into space. Derek prodded him with a few questions then eventually tapped him on the cheek a few times. Finally, after minutes of trying to get the man's attention, the man fell to his knees in tears. Derek looked over at the others. They were just as confused as the rest of him. He bent down and finally got the sobbing man's attention. What's wrong? he asked when the man finally noticed him. She, she's dead, isn't she? the guard asked. Derek nodded. Yes, after what she did, I couldn't allow her to live without punishment. Death was the best option. The man sobbing continued. Two months! Just two more months! Two more months before what? Derek asked. Before I fulfilled my oath to that family, he answered. At that, Derek put two and two together. You were under oath to keep her alive, weren't you? The man bobbed his head up and down. It was a temporary oath. Once completed, all my debts would have been wiped out. I could start over! She died, so the oath is broken, Derek asked. The man nodded furiously. Another bout of tears on the way. My skills, the great system, it's all gone now. I can't even see my status anymore. Derek stepped back and examined the broken guard with identify. Human male, level N.A., state oathbreaker. Wow, Derek thought. This system really doesn't pull any punches, does it? Not only does he lose all his skills, but he's labeled an oathbreaker for all to see. Derek looked over at the group. Do any of you have Identify at a low level, he asked. Brandy raised her hand excitedly. I do, it's only level five. In Derek's opinion, that wasn't actually too low of a level. 
but with her base level on top of it, it should do. Good. Use it on this man. Tell me what it says. Brandy nodded and stared at the weeping guard, then her eyes opened wide. Oathbreaker, she said. Human male, level N slash A, state is Oathbreaker. What does N slash A mean? Not applicable or not available, Derek answered. It means the great system took all of his levels so they're no longer there. Why not just say level zero, Brandy asked. Because that would be confusing. He gets to keep all of his prior invested stat points, so his strength would still be whatever level it was before he broke his oath, Derek explained. Brandy nodded. Now, Derek directed his question towards the man. Why were you under oath to that family to begin with? It was only supposed to be a temporary guard duty for Katricia while she got sorted out as an overseer. I... I made some bad investments and got into trouble, he said. Gambling? Derek asked. Yes, the man answered truthfully. Because establishing an outpost for the new dungeon was urgent, the house offered a bunch of those temporary oaths and contracts until they were able to provide more permanent positions. Once it was finished, I would have been able to go back to my wife and daughter and beg for forgiveness. Now, he broke down again. Now that you're marked as an oathbreaker, and the Collins will probably kill you on sight since you let Katricia die, Derek thought for a moment. Do you think they'll go after your family? The man's eyes widened before he released a breath and shook his head. I'm not sure about the others, but because of the time I spent gambling, I knew the rumors about the noble house. I made sure to include it in my oath that my family wouldn't be harmed in any way, even if my oath was broken. Who did you make the oath to? Derek asked. He hoped that the man had not made the oath to Katricia. If he had, the man wasn't as smart as he had seemed. The house manager, the guard answered. He's basically the head butler of the house Collins. He also oversees the guards and staff. So he's basically the Collins' version of Bronson, Derek thought. I see. Well, at least you were smart about it. What are your plans now? The man looked up into Derek's eyes. You're letting me go, he asked. You don't seem like a bad person. You just put yourself in a bad situation and made a poor decision on how to get out of the hole you dug yourself, Derek answered. The man got excited. I can, I can, he started, but he eventually lost that excitement. There's nothing I can do. I can't go to the city for my family. Beth won't even look at me, and that was before I became an oathbreaker. Not to mention the people who will kill me on sight just for the chance at the achievement. The man shook his head. No, there's nothing left I can do. My family will be in danger if they're beside me. Derek felt for the man, but there wasn't anything he could do for him. He wasn't about to take him in, and apparently there was some achievement that was given for slaying an Oathbreaker. What is this achievement you mentioned? The man paled at the question. Derek realized what the guard was thinking and tried to calm him. Don't worry, none of us are going to kill you. I don't think you deserve to die, I'm just curious. The guard cautiously answered Derek. It's an achievement you get for killing an Oathbreaker from the Great System. It's not a big achievement, but it's something. I think it gives you extra skill points depending on what tier you have. It's a popular one to get, which is why there are people who are constantly on the lookout for Oathbreakers. Derek nodded. That's unfortunate, he said. Well, I can't offer you my protection or anything, but I can let you go. You're strong enough that you could find a decent life in some rural village. That would be my suggestion. Then Derek spoke in a serious tone. But you had better play nice. If I catch wind of you killing or otherwise being shady, I will find you. You will die, and it won't be quick or painless. Derek let a little of his aura seep out towards the guard. He was getting better at controlling it, and it seemed to really drive home the point. Y yes I promise. I'll be a good person, the guard said. Good, now get out of here. The guard bolted from his knees and ran for the front door. Derek turned to look at the last guard. You can quit pretending. I've known you were conscious for some time now. And that is the end of chapter 42. I'll see you guys in the next one. Until then, have fun, guys.